so before moving on i fixed a slight issue uh, in uh, while logging in so log in login dot view uh, i've made uh, some changes so i made this name just new token and we, we were doing uh, everything else will be same uh, but i have just added this uh, line so uh, before what we were uh, doing it uh, we were setting this in our main dot js but uh, we need uh, we need this uh, this configuration to update as soon as we log in so after we hit login we are setting this configuration uh, so uh, so that we don't have to refresh page so yeah so when we refresh page it will get new token and update the configuration but uh, uh, since our page is single page application we ju we don't need to refresh page in order to update that so uh, that's why we added it here so now let's try log in wipe matics okay now let's log in okay there we go we got no error everything is loading okay okay now what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, edit this so when we click on this title it should show us form just like this and we'll edit that uh, so in order to do that let's go to single board dot view okay let's go to single board dot view here we got uh, that title okay so here we got that title so list name and we'll do same thing we'll uh, we'll add a uh, text field just like that copy it from here and I'll paste it here okay so we if edit mode then yeah everything else uh, will be same and here we have done this uh, we we just uh, we don't need to do like that we just uh, need to add v else yeah that should work I can let's check okay yeah so that's working yeah but as you can see uh, it added not uh, that so and yeah, that's okay okay so let's uh, fix that so here uh, what we want to do is so uh, this will be update mode let's make this yeah, for now just make that uh, we'll refactor later so if update mode is true uh, we'll see that uh, otherwise v else we'll see uh, this board and when someone hits enter we'll call the update list method okay so when someone clicks on this title at the rate click we will so uh, we'll make update mode equals to true there we go okay okay let's uh, refresh okay no error so far okay update mode is not defined so let's define that down here so by default update mode will be false okay okay no error so let's click on here yeah so as you can see it is making both clickable which we don't want okay so in order to solve this problem what uh, we will do is uh, we'll target uh, the each uh, with id so we'll id will be unique so what uh, i will do here is uh, also this if 
uh, if edit mode is equals to list ID so list dot ID dot ID so edit mode uh, I think form let's call it edit form yeah let's call it edit wait let's leave that so we don't want to change this uh, uh, this list but we want to change this thing so it is up here so update mode or uh, you can give update form whatever you want to give okay let's leave update mode so if update mode equals to a list list dot id then we'll show this form so update mode will have a list id so i'll put that update mode equals to rather than putting it true true uh, i'll give it list dot id when we click it so that it will just show this form only yeah name is slightly off you can give update form yeah something like that let's check if that is working yeah okay pretty cool okay that's done and now v model will be list name so uh, a list name and now we need to call when someone hits enter we need to call this update list method let's create that method store list and here update and we need to send a uh, put request in this case so i will just yeah, everything else will be same like this I will copy everything paste it so uh, update mode update mode will be false or you can make it null yeah update mode uh, null and we'll send a uh, put request to same board uh, board id list uh, with this list name so while uh, updating we need to send list id as well this dot update mode okay so this update mode will have uh, id of list so since uh, when we click on uh, this update mode yeah we can change uh, we can make it uh, slightly more generic rather than update mode what we can do is update uh, update list form okay update list id that will be okay okay after sending request uh, we'll we'll see a response so so let's check our api for that in list controller in update method what we are doing uh, we are checking for okay so here is slightly yeah slight error i think So first, uh, we are updating board, but uh, we we, are, we don't want to update board. Access lists, uh, lists, and then we will find list with ID, list ID, list ID, and then we'll update that. So after entering, uh, hitting enter, we are not uh, disabling this update list mode. So let's do that. 
so update list after the successful response what we'll do is uh, this dot update list id will make this null and yeah we'll uh, refresh data this dot fetch board data uh, you can see it updated so now let's change it to summer is coming yeah there we go okay so uh, that is the update part we can add one more here and so after uh, ease of that we need to make uh, that null as well so yeah here this start list name custom null we need to make that here as well all right let's refresh let's add one change this hell to heaven there we go okay here as you can see if I click on this and if I click outside here it is not uh, disabling this mode so in order to uh, in order to do that what we can do here is so in outer div uh, we can so if someone clicks uh, click there we'll make this edit mode equals to false and now uh, what we uh, we have to do is uh, we have to put it stop here because otherwise it will uh, propagate uh, upward and if we click on this add list it will make first true and then it will again call this and make it false so uh, by doing stop it will just stop here and it will not call this this event listener so let's test that Okay, there we go. Yes. Update. Yes. Yeah, so that is all set okay here uh, you can see slight error so uh, it is uh, doing it is showing form and when we when you click outside it is disappearing but when you try to enter something it is yeah it is reverting back so what we need to do is we need uh, when someone clicks on this form we need uh, we don't need to call that function that is in parent div that is uh, this one so currently that is calling it and again making it false so what we can do uh, to prevent that is okay so when someone clicks on uh, text field so click will stop the propagation of this event okay so let's check yeah so that's working yeah now let's uh, delete it so uh, we'll put delete button here so let's go there and okay so we'll make that uh, menu so so uh, we need to wrap this uh, wrap this whole thing inside v menu in order to make that menu and uh, this uh, this button will be activator so when someone clicks on that will show a uh, list there we go and then we have to make a list will be delete tile and at the rate click stop and then we'll call delete list id equals to list dot id yeah 
and now we need to define delete list id as well delete uh, list id will be null or empty by default so rather than making it false let's make it null as well okay so uh, when someone clicks on this delete uh, this delete list id or we can call it function from here so we'll call uh, delete list and we'll pass list id list dot id and then now we need to define our method so delete list or we can just call delete and this function we have access to list id so we need to call axios dot delete and delete request will be same like update so i will copy most of this part into this uh, instead of put we just need to make delete so board id is okay list uh, this dot update list rather than we can call list id from here and yeah we don't need to pass anything yeah and let's uh, remove that and we just need that okay now let's test first one delete okay there we go so it got deleted let's delete this yeah so uh, now we successfully completed the list crud in our front end.